Ladies and gents, we are gonna talk about what has happened today. Mainly, there's almost 10,000 of you in this chat right now because of how excited we are for what to expect. AMC getting hit hard from all sides, but the battle's not over. We have a quick look at the cheat code algorithm. We had a four out of four buy signal today that did take, right? If you bought right here, you would have been able to check out the uh, the chops on this predictive analytics engine and would have seen the opportunity to buy right here. Either buying here at this four out of four or buying here at this four out of four would have gotten you up to a high of nine, 58 bucks. And that $58 mark is not currently looking like a an easy hurdle to cross. However, making sure that you take a look at the Ortex as well, super important. Being able to call out the fact that uh, there is in continued short interest change, right? So this is a two day delay. This is a brand new development, 13% down in short interest, but still holding tight at 12% current short interest. I'm not phased. I am not phased by this because we know on Wednesday and Thursday that the price action grew super, super tight because of the gamma squeeze, right? Because of the gamma squeeze. And then when we started talking about the fact that the second gamma squeeze could be a company, well, that was the very beginning of hedge funds picking up their big boy pants, understanding that there is a fight to be fought and going onto mainstream media, creating the FUD, already restricting certain uh, financial institutions from reporting on AMC. It is going to be a bloodbath in the near future. First of all, look at these perfect little pennants being created on the day. One right here, which I'm charting out with Weeble. If you haven't gotten your two free stocks from the Weeble platform yet, that description link is down below. And you can also just get one free stock if you don't wanna put any money into it and use it as a charting platform like I do. Either way, it's a great tool to have uh, because that, this way we'll be able to draw these lines here. Look at this bullish pennant, look that they're right at the apex of the breakout and then rejected right here. So one bullish pennant not playing out because these are coming from uptrends here. So that would give us the uh, give us the good assurance that something bullish is going to happen right here. However, something bearish happened instead. OK, could be a fluke. Second bullish pennant coming from an uptrend. This one also breaks downward, right? Right at the apex. Yeah, but this time the bulls have a little bit of control. See that the volume magic, which weighted average price, this orange line here is starting to consolidate with that 56 level of resistance and support that gives us the possibility, the very strong possibility, that when we are looking at a bounce later today, that is going to retake that 59.94 level of resistance. This is not only resistance, this is retracement, 361.8% retracement that we have been having a hard time beating since, uh, since Thursday and Friday's price action, right? We have not been able to get up to 960 bucks and we were rejected earlier this morning too. Let's zoom in a little bit. Why is this the fault of perhaps some expectations? Because too many people have the expectation that they come in and they are able to see some major rips, right? Because of, for example, an algorithm that might not have the right parameters or the same hyperparameters. So you come in for a model or perhaps for an analyst's mindset and they try to look at the fundamentals, which one are not really working for AMC, has been irrelevant for a long time. Uh, but you take a look at the patterns as well and you're likely going to see that you are you have been falling out of certain patterns for a long time and that said one of the patterns that we see here is right around that 10 uh, a.m mark here we are looking at a double uh, possibility of looking at the, uh, the MACD and seeing a major change so that MACD let me get rid of the options chain real quick so that you guys can see is a sign of whether or not there is bullish momentum turning into bearish momentum or vice versa. So when this orange line here that I'm going to highlight in red crosses over the blue line here, that is a sign if you directly parallel this and match this up here a sign of bearish momentum. And there, there was that bounce right here, the plucky little bounce that could right off of the VWAP but then from the, the uh, uh, MACD following the trend below that signal line, there came the bearish dip here. So that slump was, uh, was called for by the VWAP, but as the v volume 
uh, as the MACD continues to bring itself back around, there comes a pretty important step of whether or not the MACD is actually going to fake you out at the signal line or come back strong underneath. So that is a major fake out to watch out for. If you're looking at the MACD, but you're not sure how to read it, that gives you a trickier signal than the ones that perhaps cheat code algorithm, for example, would be able to give you. So like we said, we saw four out of four major buy signals here. Right? So we would have gotten the wrong signal on the MACD, but luckily on the squeeze indicator that serves very similar to the MACD, it makes it a little bit simpler. So when we look at these positions of strength, each time we have to ask ourselves, what are the hedgies thinking as well? And if we can't get behind their incentives, if we don't understand what they are able to do, for example, if you misunderstood what the short sale restriction list is, you might think that it gives us hope and stability. What it actually does is prevents the shorts from shorting on down ticks only. So when that price action is already in a free fall, for example, right here, you are prevented from shorting right on this arm of an Elliott wave. However, as soon as it starts um, maybe breaking out right here, that's when you can start shorting and hurt the expectation of this bullish pennant. And that's exactly the answer to the question uh, right over here that we're answering when do shorts think about the shorting process. Another thing to consider briefly is the possibility that you might not have known how Elliott waves are formed. So if you guys know nothing about it, it's the idea that behavior wise, most things are made up of fractals. Most things are made up of small iterations up and small iterations down. Right now you see a pretty perfect uh, ABC part uh, correction in terms of this impulse wave, in terms of this Elliott wave here. So here's the A, Here's the B on top, and here's the C. So all in all, you have this downward all the way to the A, upward to the B, and downward to the C. Now this may not make sense from the very beginning of how to predict this price action, but the first thing you'll notice is that these arms of the impulse wave, something that we can call the subwaves, are actually pretty similar in length and in slope. So that's predictability, right? That is accountability when it comes to these um, strong Elliott waves that we can actually see in terms of fractals. Excuse me, my indigestion here. Uh, Philip will answer your question in a second. So when it comes down to it, how did this happen? Well, we had an opportunity to bounce off of the uh, this 56 level of level of support or resistance. Remember, resistance can also flip into support. But when we uh, had been paper caught, right, caught by the simple moving average here, that created the same uh, slope and basically the same range as a level of resistance and support that was significantly different. Just take a measure at how different these are. So right here to here is the 60 to the 56 level of support. And then from here to here is the next level from 56 to 53. So a major difference about at least 25, 30% difference between the two resistance and support gaps. However, with Elliott waves, you can create the same type of subwave from this first beginning subwave to the next be uh, end subwave here. So hopefully that wraps up a couple of things about what you're expecting from this morning's price action. Hopefully that helps you tie up into a bow a couple of the questions you may have. And if you have any other questions, we still are having that raffle for 3x the, num the number of chances you get to win a, a swag giveaway. You get something from the merch store, you get something from Professor Meatball, a one-on-one -on -one tutoring on whatever you want to talk about. And if, uh, if you get up to 100,000 subscribers, that's it. That's the cutoff. So make sure you subscribe before then, turn your bells on, and we'll see you in the money. Oh, man.